For decades, it was believed that vaccinating young animals was not effective because of maternal antibody interference. The industry needed to find a way to protect young calves from bovine respiratory disease, or BRD. Dr. Kevin Hill, cattle technical services veterinarian for Merck Animal Health, consulted with Dr. Philip Griebel from the University of Saskatchewan. He presented some work that caught our eye. They were experimenting with unborn sheep so that he demonstrated that he could vaccinate orally an unborn uh, lamb in about the second trimester of gestation, and that vaccine was effective. Now that was important to us because we had a big focus on vaccinating the very young calf. Uh, we have a stress period, you know, right after birth until those calves are three to four months old, where they're very susceptible to pneumonias. And so we were looking for new ways to approach that problem outside of the standard injectable vaccines. And we sat down and, and sketched out a, a series of studies really where we would uh, take uh, the foundation intranasal that the company already had, uh, it was called Nasalgen IP, and start to, to work with that and see if that vaccine would induce immunity in that young calf the way his studies indicated. Dr. Scott Nordstrom, director of new product development, said the studies went even better than expected. When we discovered that you could get an immune response by delivering vaccines intranasally in the young calf, we launched a program to address the most important viruses and bacteria in the young calf. Dr. Lisa Pirtle led cattle vaccine development. Antigens are selected uh, based on a lot of criteria, but first and foremost, it, they need to be able to be efficacious. But we also have to look at safety. That's, for Merck, is one of the most important things also. The first new intranasal product that Merck Animal Health brought uh, to the market would be Bovilus Once PMH. The next step was that we added a BRSV virus to our IBR and PI3, so now we had Nasalgen 3. The final product was Bovilus Nasalgen 3 PMH, our three viruses and our two bacteria all in one intranasal vaccine. So again, something that had never been done before and something very unique and beneficial for the cattle industry. When it comes to BRD prevention, an intranasal vaccine provides benefits from both beef quality and quality of immune response standpoints. Most pathogenic bacteria and viruses enter through the nose, so a local immune response is important. With intranasal administration, vaccine antigens are deposited directly to the nasal surface to put protective immunity in place quickly after vaccination. We've done a lot of studies. Uh, to prove that it is efficacious. We also um, love the fact that it's an intranasal vaccine. It's safe in animals. We've uh, shown that we have the longest duration of immunities for um, all of the fractions compared to any of the competitors' product. Up to that point in time, uh, when these vaccines begin to be launched, most were labeled for calves three months of age and older. We backed it all the way down to one week uh, of age. I think one of the really game-changing things that we did was utilize the pasteurellas intranasally because suddenly a vaccine that used to have very detrimental effects on calves because of endotoxin was able to safely be delivered and those calves could thrive and, and get through to weaning without the health issues and challenges that they typically would have. The final innovation was to add a, a coloring, a, a dark blue diluent, we call it blue shadow, and that helps uh, easily identify which calves have been vaccinated and which, which have not, so another aid to producers. Merck is committed to addressing challenges that are occurring in the livestock industry, and this may be evolving diseases, maybe labor shortages, and we're doing that through a number of ways, and one of the most innovative ways that we're doing it is addressing how we deliver vaccines. Today, we offer one of the most complete vaccine portfolios, and we're committed to continuing to find new discoveries that will successfully advance cattle health.